Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Uh, out here today with Simon, fishing for GTs, brim, flatties, whiting, whatever we can get in the canals at the moment. And um, yeah, just throwing a little slim swim to start off and might throw a bigger stick bait towards sort of the end of the evening. And we might try some deeper water, shallow water, try a bit of everything. It's been a while, so. Simon's throwing a popper now. Come on. Gotta get exploded on, dude. Boom! Trev's just annihilate poppers. Those little ones, and then you, you lose them for good. But there's usually jacks on this pontoon over here. Oh, really? Yeah, when they were building this big house, the guy was like, oh, there's jacks here every day. <laughs> when, they were, when they were feeding them, all the, all the brim, like chips and stuff. Oh, well, that's a good yeah. sign. There's a turn. That's a good sign. Turns are a good sign if there's some pelagics running around. He looks pretty fat too, he's probably been eating a lot of herring. Alright, let's get to fishing guys. Okay. Got a homemade surface walker right here. It's probably my favourite colour, which is that real fluoro yellow. And it's just got some aluminium foil on the side of it, so it's got a bit of shine in the sun. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh. That seems pretty tight. It might not be good anymore because, like, the boat's gone. Ah, it's good fishing again. Oh, there we go. GT on it. Really? Yep. Yep, he's on it. Fuck, he was alright. He was swinging at it pretty good. Yeah. Oh, dude, he really, you can see his teeth in it. Look at that. Yeah, shit. That's cool. I'm gonna make these wood bits harder, I think. He really chomped on it. See, there's some chomp marks. Just made these out of balsa wood, but they seal pretty well, so it should, should be pretty sweet for it. And yeah, you got the lunch done. Cool. Hey, Don. Oh, it's wet. Little fella's got one. Oh, yeah, that's a good brim. Well done. <laughs> Chunk of a brim on the bread. Oh, it looked like bread to me. I thought it was a chicken drum. Oh, using a whole drumstick. Using a whole drum. <laughs> Are you? Whoa. That was like a shark or something. Because that was a school of mullet. You reckon? Yeah. That was a school of mullet fleeing a shark, I think. Or a big GT. Stuff coming through now. Oh, yeah. Seagull on a turn over there. Maybe the reefs popping, dude. Maybe that's what all the afternoon. I think so. <laughs> is that one? Yeah. Oh, he's. What is that? Hold up, I'm on you. Oh, shit. Something good? Yeah. Come to the front, come to the front. What have you hooked? Unless you hooked a ray. No, no way. Keep going up that way. You don't want to get on the pylon. Oh, yeah, keep going, or I can control it. Oh, 
think. Something decent. Yeah, just shoot up that way because he's going to try and get you on the pole. Pull him, get some pressure on him. Just try and pull him out. He's going for that pole. Yeah, just keep heading that way. Hopefully we can swing him out in the open. Yeah, he's coming out in the open. Yeah. yeah. All right, we've hooked up here. Well, Simon has anyway. I think we've hooked a, hopefully a big GT. Certainly zoomed off. It's, geez, it's got some legs on it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Hey, I reckon it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's a GT. I don't know either. It's got some weight to it, eh? I reckon it's a ray. You reckon? Yeah. It's not head bumping. All right, we'll go find out what his mystery fish is. Ray's a fish, aren't they? Yeah. He's going up shallow, that's really odd. Nah. Oh no. Go, whoa, 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 whoa. He's got a big boil on him. Oh, that kind of looks ray there. The flaps, the swirls. Yeah. Is it? Unless you got a barra. Oh no, it's an eagle ray. <laughs> oh, big eagle ray. <laughs> he got some weight on him. Oh no, it's a cow nose. Yeah. Oh. You're kidding me. <laughs> Oi, I think he ate it. Yeah, I actually think he's proper eating it, eh? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, he ate it. Yeah, he's not proper eating there. Oh wow, he actually did eat it. We should be able to get the pies on it. Yeah. Alright, hold on. We don't have to ready for me to do this. Actually, you can drop those ones, I don't even want them. Good old Narang River black hats right there. There we go. <laughs> he was right on the rocks, dude. Dude, on four pound. <laughs> oh, was that four pound? <laughs> oh dear. That's pretty wild. Oh, this one I can catch a big GT on it. Do you on the four pound? Yeah. <laughs> he's come back for more. Is he? No, he's back. Unless he's got friends. All right, let's head back over there. All right, let's go. Oh, that's what. <laughs> there we go. Oh! Wait. Is he still on? Oh no, you might have a shark on him. If that happens. Yeah. That was a shark, I think. Bring him up. He'll come up. He's running pretty hard. Yeah, that was weird. That was odd. Yeah. I reckon a I reckon a shark hit you like. Oh, nice one. Oh, he's wafted. Yeah, so I reckon a shark hit your line there when it like flanged real hard. You reckon? Yeah. That was weird. That's what happens dude. Big shark sharks. Oh, there's heaps under the sound, oh my god. Oh, dude, there's, they're all under the boat. I'll go throw my lure in, dude. Yeah, you go. Well, you can hold up your fishy too. I got the lip grip, uh, the lip grips behind you. Well, you can just hold him up now, you'll be right. There you go, it's a big eye. Oh. Pretty fun on the surface, eh? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you hold him close to make him look bigger. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Tiny <laughs> <laughs> one. Off he goes. So oh. Ah. Oh. Was he Maybe. hooked up already? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you that. That's weird. That's weird. Just put that there. This pontoon's the one. Oh. oh. No way. No way. Oh. I think it's a big eye. Oh, a little GT. Oh no, is it a big eye? Yeah. 
big eye. Oh, dude, there's heaps under the. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. We're gonna have a big, big eye session, I think. So what I like to do with the big eyes, just sink it like straight down, and then give it like two like violent whips on the bottom, yeah, and then okay. just let it sit there. Yeah. First fish on the homemade lure. He sort of ruined it a little bit, but yeah, it's only a prototype. And chuck this big eye back. Sort of grunting away. Yeah. He hit that pretty good. Yeah. Success. <laughs> Great success. Yes, yeah, under the boat. There you go. Sort of jammed open a bit of there at the back, but it's through wire, so it should hold. I only did one uh, clear coat on it, so might have to do a couple more, make it a bit better, tougher. Yeah, it worked out. Well, the sound cleared out pretty good. Mm. Oh, dude, probably. Oh, yeah, what is Some that? big. Oh no, that's blow ups, I think. No, it's something big, I think. No, who could it be a big eagle ray? I've probably got range on it. Oh, it's moving, it might be a shark or a ray. Oh, there it is. It could be the dolphins. I think they'll land in the Yeah, they put some weight on it, <laughs> some heat. Yeah. Let's catch the shark. <laughs> that feels better. Yeah, it's a bit easy, I think. Yeah, that's a shark. Out in the middle of the open. There's no sharks on him. He's going up current. Yeah, yeah, GT. Nice. Good banger. That's too scary. Well, on the lure too. Look at that. I reckon those GTs out there then. Dude, that's, that's a chunk of a GT. <laughs> there you go. Big old GT. On the homemade lure. Oh, he's crunched it so good. Look at that. Got ourselves a, a GT on the homemade lure. Pretty cool. Sit down, let's go up there. Look at that. We'll see how it held up. I mean, it's still there, so yeah, pretty cool. Last look at him. Yeah, we'll let him go. Whoa! <laughs> Almost lost the run. That was spooky, dude. And he's in the open. Try out the back here again. So it held up, it's pretty cool. <gasps> there we go, yeah, got him again. <laughs> this is a big one. I think so. Oh, it's just the current. Another decent one. Oh yeah. Oh, solid. 
<laughs> Two on that slot. <laughs> do you see how fast they were coming in? That's why I do the fast one, because it's easy to find them. Oh. Now that big old GT on the homemade lure. <laughs> it's pretty decent. Yeah. Another GT right there. It's probably like 60 ish, I guess. Oh, on the homemade lure. It's pretty cool. Rah. Yeah. <laughs> Send him back. Look at that one, dude. Yes. <laughs> oh, Here you go. Here goes the prototype. Oh, it actually had a big hit on the side there. Gonna have to try and improve it a little bit. The back's come off. Yeah. A little bit there, but she's still. The terminal's good. Hasn't started to pull out or anything. So today is the next day after catching those GTs on the homemade lure. Yeah. That's the one. It got banged up pretty good. But uh, yeah, it was good to actually catch something on it. It's only a prototype. I've got that one pre done, and then I've got some that are pretty much ready to go. So these ones are identical, and they've got a through wire through them, so that'll stop any big GTs pulling the wire. Use little screw eyes. And I am using balsa wood, so balsa wood's not good for screw eyes apparently. But yeah, try and make some more different colours. Yeah, the rod setup and reel. So I've got a seven foot um, one to two p casting rod. It's quite flimsy, which is good for lure action, but still a little bit stiff towards the the butt here. Now I've got it on a um, Got a Saragossa 5k on it, which is more than enough. I used to run a 4k and I just needed a little bit bigger for them, I think. It's sort of ideal. Get quite a bit of drag on them. They come with the Carbon Tex drag washers um, as a default with the Saragossas, so you won't ever run out of drag. And also got a power knob on it, one of the Gamexis ones you get off eBay. Just looks cool. You know, something a bit bigger to grab in case you really get whacked and then you gotta grab it real quick. And then I've got 30 pound Ghost and Braid and I run it on an FG with the leader. Pretty crappy FG right there, but it's on a um, 50 pound. I think, so the GTs in the canals aren't too leader shy, so. You can get them up past 70 centimetres, so you might as well save yourself and put some stick on them with some 50 pound. 30 pound braids just for casting distance. I think that's one of the more important things you want instead of a, like a medium to large canal GT setup. You want it to be long, you want to have light but strong braid, and you want to have some pretty heavy leader. So, with this one, I can almost cast 100 metres if I got the wind behind me, which is a lot of range, that's what you need. Because sometimes you'll see them pop up, bust up, and you're just not that close, you know? And that might be them, they're gone. They move around pretty quickly from school, so... Yeah, handy to have a long rod, some really thin, good braid, and some good fluorocarbon. Now, I'll still use fluorocarbon, even though it sinks with the surface walkers. But you bring it in pretty quick, so it doesn't really matter. If it um, needs that extra floating, you always rip it across. Sort of keep it, work the dog pattern, or you can just straight wind it across the top. And it just looks like a mullet, sort of skipping along the top. And they charge for it, so that's, one of them did that yesterday. I was walking the dog and then just went to wind it in, and he just came up and smashed it, so. Yeah, that's the setup. Still, um, still kicking. It's like a couple years old now, so 
yeah, pretty pretty happy with those, and you can't get these major craft rods anymore. Uh, they're pretty good. I wish I got a little bit heavier one, but this one's been good. Catch big jewies. Um, jacks on it. Big um, GTs and cod. Yeah. That's a setup I like to use. Hmm.